Medical memory is a simple and easy tool to use to communicate effectively with patients and their family members. Simple recorded messages allow you to give the same message to all family, saving nurses time. Let me show you how it works. First, I'm gonna click on the record screen in the upper left. Now, this next screen is asking for a patient's date of birth. So for my patient, I'm going to put in August, down here at 08 August, scroll down to 22nd, and then lastly, the year. For my patient is 1967. Now, what you'll see are different patients' names that had the date of birth of 8-22-1967. If you see your patient, go ahead and click it and confirm your email address. At any point, you can click the back screen on the upper left if you make a mistake. If I don't see my patient here, I can click none of the above and fill in all the patient information, first name, last name, email address, and date of birth. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and click Kevin because I see his name. I'm gonna make sure I confirm his email address. Again, if you're not seeing this patient's email address, click none of the above and you can put in the patient's information. But I'm gonna click back in the upper left I see my, my patient's email address and all of the information now pre-populates. Now I'm ready to start recording. So I'm gonna go down to the very bottom where you see provider, click this, and this is where I'm gonna choose the provider that's gonna be seeing this patient. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this Lucas Felt. As soon as it does, it says, please return this device to a staff member. Go ahead and click OK if you have the device. Sometimes patients are the ones filling this information out. Um, but with COVID, oftentimes our nurses are the ones doing that. So now we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now, the one thing that you can see is that you need to have the video in landscape mode. So you need to make sure that you can read, record, save, flip everything that's on the screen straight up and down. If you have it like this, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be off for the patient. They'll see it like that. So make sure you have the video in landscape mode when you're giving this message. So you'll click this red button in the very middle to record. Hi, Sarah, your dad's doing so great. We checked his vitals, we checked his blood pressure, everything looks good. You can also pause it and resume it if you're wanting to give another update. You know, oh, I forgot to mention, we did give him some pain medicine, everything's great. The other thing you can do is you can switch also to back camera. So if you're wanting to talk a little bit at the beginning um, and have it kind of more in a selfie mode, you can, or you can flip to the back camera. This is just my office door, but pretend I had my patient here or some scans, or I'm trying to show how to, to take care of maybe a wound, anything like that. You can always also flip it back. So it makes it really easy to kind of make a highlight reel of your conversation. At the very end, you're gonna see the save on the bottom left-hand corner. Click that, and it says end session. So you can send it 99% of the time, you'll click send, and it'll send directly now to the patient. Um, if you make a mistake or you press that button on accident, you're gonna hit cancel. Um, in office only isn't really utilized um, unless you're not wanting the patient to have access to that video right away. Um, but, but most times that's not the case. So I'm gonna go ahead and click send. And now I'm ready to record my next patient. So we'll then start again with patient date of birth. If you're wanting to go back to the main screen, you can click the upper left-hand side and that's where you have all the options once again. The last thing is if you do, if you're not sure if your video is being uploaded, there is this cloud in the upper right that will see, so you can see this video on 12-12, um, it's processing and it's being uploaded, KG, that was the, the initials of my patient. So that way you can confirm that the video is being uploaded. And then you're all set, thanks so much.